Hello guys, in this video we are looking at the Notion Client Onboarding Template Pro. So the general idea is um, to onboard your clients. Let's onboard one client together as an example. If you want to onboard a new client, you just click on Onboard New Client. And as you can see, a new row is generated. Um, so at the moment this client is called New Client. But let's just change it to Audi. Um, yeah. Now we can change the onboarding status to in progress because we just started to onboard um, the client. And as you can see here, there are a lot of files we can fill out. For example, who is responsible? In this case, it's um, Finn, which is me. And yeah, you can see the start date, which is for is today. And we also can add the workload forecast. For example, for this project, we expect to a workload of 300 minutes and um, an hourly rate of $50 per hour. And as you can see now, um, yeah, we then get our budget automatically, um, which is calculated. What we can see here is the workload achieved at the moment. We didn't work anything for this project, but we will look at this aspect later. Another important thing is if we now open this ticket, we will see that there's also a client onboarding to-dos list. So you can personalize all of those things. Um, and for example, in this case, we want to send the customers a survey. We want to send them a contract and have a welcome call. We also have linked the contract, which is here in the onboarding document and the welcome call checklist. And now let's look at the customer survey. So another aspect of this onboarding is that down here, um, we have a little table with company name and revenue. This is just a simple customer survey. Um, if you onboard customers, we usually need some data from them. And therefore we created a simple tally form. We can send this link just to our customers. You can personalize it to your needs. And for example, I'm Audi now and we have above $10,000 in revenue and we submit. And if we now go back, you can see it pops up and is in our database, which is really needy. Um, neat. Next thing we're going to look at is the time tracking. So as you can see now, we just filled out and we expect the workload to be 300 minutes. Um, and yeah, let's imagine we just finished the onboarding. So we can now set the um, onboarding to done. As you can see now, it leaves the onboarding overview and is now in the active clients overview because it's on active client audio, as you can see here, and we can start working with them. If for example, we now spend some time with them and when we want, want to track our time, we can go on the time tracking page and just click on the new entry, which is called time tracking. In this case, we just click on Audi and we can enter the time. For example, we work today from, let's say, 2.45 p.m. We include a end date until 4.45 p.m. And we can see now two hours, it automatically calculates the sum in minutes. And we also can add our name. Yeah. In this overview, we can see it by customer. So for example, we already worked and um, sometimes have some tickets for Mercedes and just the one for Audi. And we also have a employee view where we can see at the moment, it's just me, Finn, how many things I did, how many tickets I send in. So the time tracking is automatically connected to the active clients board. As you might remember, Audi, um, the workload before was zero, now it's 40%. So we already worked 30% of the workload we forecasted. And yeah, it's quite good to have it here. As mentioned before, it's connected, so you don't have to adjust anything here. It's calculated the moment you enter your time. Um, and the final page we have is the financials. The idea of the financials is that you do not really have to do a lot with it. It's again an automated list. So as we just onboarded Audi, we have to create a new row. Um, and we just click on Audi 
and we can see the pro project status has not started. We can see there's no invoice issued yet. The budget is 250. Again, it's, um, it takes it automatically from the onboarding and the workload. Yeah, it's the data we saw before. Um, the general idea is if you finish a project, we now go back to our dashboard page into the active client page. If you finish a project, for example, we do not work more than 40% of Audi. Um, we choose the project status to be done. Then it leaves the active client page because it's not active anymore and it gets in the, and then we can go in the history and see that this one is now here, Audi is here and it's onboarded, but it's also done. The final thing we have to do now and is we have to issue an invoice and it's really handy that the financial page still shows us that Audi, there's no invoice issued yet. What we can do now is we can click, for example, if we issue an invoice today, we click on the 25 and then we see invoice issued zero days ago. If for example, we issued it already a week ago, we can see now invoice issued seven days ago.